All right, what's up everybody? It's Gaby Cardstacks here. Uh, been saving up my mail for a little over a week here. Have a ton of stuff. It's it's all just singles and, and very low end stuff. I think everything is basically PC stuff um, for binders and just stuff that I've been kind of wanting. So uh, just gonna go ahead and, and rip it all up and, and we'll uh, get to it here. So nothing crazy like I all most of these I uh, can't open this most of these are uh I don't know I'd say um dollar-ish kind of stuff nothing crazy at all here I don't oh, I don't know what this is um ah, ha, ha, ha. yes okay now I know what this is so this was wild um I was looking for tyrant I'm just struggling with this. Um, I was looking for Tyron Matthew uh, cards in general, and um, I guess I had watched um, his uh, his Silver Prism from, I think this is 2017, and I got an offer, but it seemed very high, so I don't know why I started watching it to, from the beginning, but then I was like, oh, I bet you there's like one of those complete your set kind of... Uh, kind of listings where it's pretty cheap for like a dollar or so um and then uh from there I found this listing it was buy two get three free so I was like okay I, I this was it was like a dollar plus like 79 cents shipping so um I don't know which was the I think Aaron Donald was probably the one that caught my eye after that um and then I just found kind of three other guys that I like so I might just make a, a binder page of silver prism here um or uh, I don't know, maybe make individual pages there, but that was super cheap. Um, yeah, that was probably like two, three bucks for all of those cards, so not bad. We'll go with uh, this one here. And let's see what this is. Ah, haha. This is a Brody White. Roddy White Tops Chrome X-Fractor, and this card officially completes um, my Tops Chrome X-Fractor project, I guess you could call it. I'd have um, three Tops Chrome X-Fractor cards from every year, um, from from when they started in 20, 2007 to 2015. Um, I, I made a big oops on 2000, this is 12. Um, I bought like five 2013 cards. The designs are pretty similar. So yeah, I have a bunch of 2013 extras. And so just uh, saw Roddy White. He was one of my favorite fantasy receivers back in high school. Um, so just pick that up. That'll complete my set. So I'm pretty excited about that. I don't know what this is. Let's see. I really want to find these envelopes on eBay. I bought a bunch of envelopes, but they are not this. So I need to figure out what these are called because um, these are really nice envelopes here. Um, okay, here we go. So this was very random. Um, I was watching Loot Box TV. Um, and he was opening up National Treasures. Um, and I was like, you know what? I love National Treasures. It's, it's a very cool product. Um, U of A is, is usually featured um, in it, or that's like kind of the higher end cards there. Um, and I was just looking at like super cheap National Treasure stuff. And I think I got this for like two bucks shipped. So pretty cool. Numbered to 54, Brian Urlacher. Um, you know, figured it's, it's worth more than two bucks. So that was just kind of a random buy that I that I had there, fifteen dollar credit there. Check that out. Yeah, so I I really like these envelopes. Um, so we'll see. I don't know what could possibly be in here. I mean, I know what everything is. I just don't know which which card it is. Um, ah, haha! John Wall first year Prism. Um, John Wall was one of my favorite um, college players uh, back at Kentucky. It's like John Wall, 
Blake Griffin and like Derek Williams are probably my top three college basketball players of all time that I just enjoyed watching. All kind of during that high school era as well for me. Um, wanted I wanted John Wall in the blue jersey um, and like that was that was his jersey when they were rookies. Like I bought his jersey his rookie year and then the very next year they switched to these. Um, which I think they still currently use or, or something very similar. Um, but it was only four bucks for first year Prism. I know very sought after um, set, so that's cool. Um, I'll use, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe make a little John Wall binder page or uh, maybe like a first year Prism page. I don't know, we'll see. So see what this is. Oh, 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 oh. I know what this is. Excellent. Wow. What a nice fellow. I'm going to pull these out. So this is from Not Nolan Ryan on Twitter. Um, he, I've been on a big Marvin Bagley kick ever since I started getting like back into binder pages and stuff. Um, Marvin Bagley, he went to my high school. I think he was like a freshman when I was a sophomore, but like even when he was a freshman, I think they had like one of those, um, like all ranked players regardless of class. And he was still like in the top five as a, as a freshman in high school. Um, so it was a very big deal when he was on, on campus or like when he was there. Um, and so not Nolan Ryan on Twitter was like, hey, I've got these for you. So. Um, very cool guy. I really like talking to him. He's very funny on Twitter as well. Um, so definitely appreciate that to Gaby Stonks. Thank you, sir. Definitely appreciate that. Very cool. I will add these all to my binder page. So that makes me very happy. Thank you, sir. Okay, next. Oh, gosh. Okay, so I know what this is. I don't think that... This card is top loaded. I think it's just in this little envelope. And actually, did he pay? Oh, weird. Okay, so he paid for he paid fifty three cents, but it's in a bubble mailer. So kind of interesting. I've always wondered. Like, I feel like some people throw like just forever stamps on a small bubble mailer like this. Um, I don't know. But when I felt this, I was like, this does not feel like it's top loaded at all. And yeah, it is not. Very interesting. Um, but okay, interesting that you can get away. I mean, may, I know some post offices are more strict, but yeah, not top loaded. So hopefully everything is uh, fine here. But Gary Brightwell sunburst out of prestige this year. Uh, went to Arizona, got drafted. And I think the sixth round he's with the Giants. I don't know if he's done anything for them or is maybe he's, there's a good chance he's might not even be on the roster anymore but um, anytime you can get a U of A guy in Jersey I'm always a fan of that and then I love these parallels I had they remind me of the unparalleled set um, which I'm trying to complete the set for Will Parks or the rainbow I guess I don't know there's like astral and cosmo sunburst very cool parallels so I only have like astral of that I guess I can move those there um, so we'll try to complete that little set eventually. It's, it kind of sucks. There's only like six parallels that are like design parallels. And then there's like a bunch of numbered ones, but they don't have the design on it. So I'm going to have to get creative with, uh, going to have to get creative with the binder page part of things. And let's see what this is. Do, 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 do. More cardboard that I will save so I don't have to cut it myself. Ah, yes. Okay, so um, after the card show last week, I bought a I bought a pink uh, Brewski Prism at the card show last week. It was basically a throw-in, and that kind of inspired me to go after a rainbow of sorts. And I was just looking for Brewski stuff. And I saw this checkerboard at auctions um, that was ending on, I don't know, maybe like a Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, some buy it now is for like 30 or 40 bucks. So I figured I could probably get this pretty low. And it's like a super short print on the checkerboard. So I think I ended up getting it for like $15 shipped. 
So that was pretty nice. Um, I know they look good in SGC slabs as well. So that was a nice eBay find. Oh God, this is, this is terrible. This is why Hatch hates such tough wrapping. This is terrible. Oh God. Okay. Got some scissors. Okay. 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 Perfect. I think I have all the contents. Let me make sure. Yes. Okay. What is this? Ah, yes. Another auction. Um, ooh, tape. Wow. Okay. Sent extra top loaders. Interesting. I've never seen that for extra packaging. Um, nonetheless, it is appreciated, sir. Um, and this is ended like on a Sunday morning. I've been on my top screen. Oh, okay. This actually isn't terrible. Wow. Look at that. Oh, I mean, it left some residue up top. Um, yeah, I was looking at Grunk X Fractors. This ended at auctions at 99 cents. It was five bucks shipping. It was like 475, something gross. But nonetheless, for, for five, six bucks, Gronk X Fractor, I think this is 2014. Um, yes, 2014. So I'll take it, uh, throw it in a binder page, um, and we'll uh, move forward with that. And then let's see what this is. Oh, golly, another brutal. Okay, excellent. Ah, yeah, oh my god, more scotch tape. Gross. Um, okay, so this was very random. I've been looking for Diamondbacks, Topps Chrome, um, Baseball, a lot of Luis Gonzalez. Tony Womack was my favorite player um, at the time, I'm pretty sure. It was like between him and Luis. Like everyone loved Luis Gonzalez, but um, yeah, I was just looking for like Topps Chrome. This is the 2001. So this is the World Series uh, year. I think this is 2001. Yeah, 2001. So this is the World Series year, which is kind of cool. Oh my God, it says 2001 right there. Um, and this was like two bucks in an auction. And it was wild because I was in the shower and then I got a, I saw the notification and it was like, don't miss out on this auction. And I was just watching it. Um, and then I opened the notification and it was like 45 seconds left with no bids. And so I was like, you know what, for like two bucks, maybe it's authentic. I don't know. It's got this like authentic original sticker, but like anybody could put that on there. So whatever, but for two bucks, why not? It'll go in a binder page. So that was that nothing crazy there, but cool. So this is my big package. Um, this is what I've been most excited about, I would say. I don't know how to open I'm just going to rip it on this side. Okay, maybe not. Um, this, I'm just going to... I know what it is, so I'll just... This, this, yeah, there we go. Um, so, my good pal Tommy always seems to tag me in just very, uh, very random U of A stuff. And he usually peer pressures me into buying things that I have no intention of buying, but it is very cool for the PC. So he's been a, a very positive influence for that, but not so much for the bank account here. Uh, so it's very cool. Just some packaging. Perfect. So it is uh, going the other way here. So that's good. So this was from Euphoric Cards um, on Twitter who I've recently been interacting with because of Tommy. Um, he's a big binder page advocate here, and I'm gonna flip this. So, looks like he threw in a Marvin Bagley the green. That's pretty sick. So, uh, got, a, got a couple Marvin Bagley binder pages. So that's cool. Um, so this is what I was, oh, okay, he sent me another one. Ho oh, ho, that is not Aaron Gordon right there. Um, Slid that in. Oh, no, that's that's what I bought. Okay, so he pulled out this blue hoops Marvin Bagley. Very nice. So I will uh, slide that in. Nice PC of Marvin Bagley going on. 
So this is what Tommy originally tagged me in. Aaron Gordon, uh, U of A wood. It's it's like a manufactured relic or floor piece, I guess. Yeah, so pretty cool card. Aaron Gordon is my favorite that I witnessed. Like Derek Williams was a year before me. Um, but Aaron Gordon, I think my sophomore year was absolutely electric. One of the best like mixtapes of all time. I remember he commit. Yeah, I remember because we were watching his highlight tape in our dorm freshman year when he committed. Um, so pretty cool piece there. Um, and so that's when Euphoric was like, oh, you're a U of A guy. I've got this for you. And so this was uh, the big piece here. And... Uh, Ooh, that is nasty. That is nasty. Zeke Naji, immaculate to 25 on card auto with the Z on the patch. Very nice. Yeah, very cool card. Um, I want to take it out, but I also don't. Okay, it came out pretty easy. Um, yeah, nasty patch. Probably the best patch I have. Um, I don't. I don't. Ooh, I don't know if I have any U of A patches, but. Um, yeah, this is awesome. Very, very nice patch. And now I can't get it back in. Uh, oop. Oh, God. Okay, there we go. Awesome. Very cool patch. On card auto, Zeke Najee. I wasn't a huge fan of the class in 2020 with Zeke, Nico Mannion, and Josh Green. Um, I always thought Nico Mannion was way overrated in every mock draft up until like draft season. He was always a lottery pick and I never understood it. Um, Josh Green was okay, but Zeke Najee I always thought was underrated. Kind of a double-double machine. He's long, athletic, he, he can shoot a little bit. So definitely my favorite player of that class. And so to have this nice little piece and i think i have a one touch oh yeah i don't know if i want to try it in a one touch just because i don't know if it's going to fit i don't know if it's proper thickness these are both uh, very thick cards here um but yeah very cool uh pc additions there i mean all of this is basically yeah i guess all of this except for that uh that brewski or that urlacher um is all for the pc and such so pretty nice mail day again low end stuff but uh, a lot of cool stuff, a lot of cool Marvin Bagley there. So very satisfied with the last week of mail. I haven't bought anything this week that will be coming in. So I just, I kind of knew that I was ha gonna have a lot of mail over the last week or so. So wanted to just hold it all for a video. So nice little mail day for you all. And uh, uh, we'll see when we get the next video up. I guess next week going to a card show again with Max out in Mesa. So we'll, uh, We'll be looking forward to another card show pickup video. So until next time.